Toka tulipo kutana Sijawai kufikiria tutachana Lakini tulipo pendana Uweleweki unani umiza sana Hey, upendo gani sauti Yo my name is Dr. Kamili Representing East Africa, Africa Worldwide Right on Saudi TV You don't know, you should know I call him king of music in East Africa, legend, Jose Chameleon, hit maker, a father, a family, man, a God-fearing man. How are you, brother? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. After 10 years? Yeah. I was waiting for you to grow. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for others to grow as well. All right, all right. Yeah. Let's talk about your, your amazing show, your historic show in Uganda, mm. Gwanja Mujay. Yeah. I cannot say so much about it. What I will want to say is thank you. Thank you. You know, people didn't understand why I said Gwanga Muji, but I said Gwanga Muji, I was calling people to tell them thank you. Because that's been my 25th year of presence. Yes, as much as, as, much as I've been doing good music for the people, people have been showing me love. That's the same love they came with at the legend Gwanga Muji. So, I want to say thank you to my Kenyan fans watching me, to my fans worldwide in general. It was so... Actually, thank you is an understatement. I should, I don't know, the dictionary doesn't have a word, but thank you. Grateful for that. Yes. Maybe your Kenyan fans, do they expect maybe another big concert like that in Kenya or East Africa? Yeah, I've been trying to last with a lot of Kenyan promoters to make it possible as well in Kenya. But I, if it's going to be like Wanga in Uganda, I want to work with the Kenyan artists. You know, for Uganda, Uganda is home. I could stand alone to make my benchmark, but in, if I am to come to Kenya, the problem that we're having now is the artists. I need to have Kenyan artists that we can share the platform. You know, at a certain point, like where I am now, right now, is um, I'm supposed to be responsible. I'm supposed to play a role. After 25 years, I am supposed to be a father to so many of them. So. Yeah, it should be, but if it has to be, I want to have a few Kenyan artists on it. Inshallah. Yeah, Inshallah. 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 You've mentioned so many musicians in, in Uganda, and one of your close friends, a musician called Lady Kenzo, was nominated uh, for a Grammy for Award. For Grammy, yeah. Uh, I saw you support online, and you asked many yeah. Ugandans to support him. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big achievement. Bro, Grammy is Grammy. <laughs> Grammy, is not, Grammy is not any other word. That's the epi epitome of the awards. I was happy for him, and a lot of people try to downplay him because they didn't win it. But in every play, there must be a winner, there must be a loser. But in the Grammy play, everybody's a winner, whether you're a loser or winner. So Eddie Kenzo was a very, a very big winner. Yeah. You being a legend in the game, um, can an artist define success by winning trophies? Or what? Somewhere, somehow. You know, art depends on who you paint the picture for. So if your fans define you by winning awards, then go win awards. If your fans define you by music, then go do music. We are artists, but we do music for the people. We don't do music for ourselves. If you're an artist and your fans want to see you winning awards, then please go and win awards. If you're an artist and people want to see you give good music, then go give good music. Let's talk about the tour in Australia. Yeah. Uh, you've made a post say, guys, I'm sorry, I'll be in Australia very soon. Yeah. Uh, your Kenyan East African fans, African fans, international mm. fans who are eager and ready to, to receive you for your concert. Maybe talk about your, your tour in Australia. Why not? Why not Australia? Why not Australia? I've done Europe. I've done America. Why not Australia? So my fans in Australia, it is your time. Let's enjoy. Um, my music is like, like preaching. Because when you preach, it is like a ministry. You have to spread the gospel everywhere. So I'm proud again to be going back to Australia after so long. Really excited to be in the land down under. That's what they call it. And let it be. Yeah. 25 years in the game. Uh, when you started your career, there were no YouTubes, there were no social media platforms. It was not that big. But you guys mm. used to make hits. There was no hype. There was no hype. Mm. Now there's artists, they're coming, they're big, they want to buy views. Let them take advantage of that. Because everything that comes in life comes to make life easy. A long time ago, our great grandfathers didn't have electricity. Now we have electricity. What is the purpose of it? Take advantage of it. But I actually pity a lot of people who misuse it. 
if we had come in a generation where we had the same platform that other artists have to date, it would be better. But anyhow, old is gold. The older the wine. Uh. All right, Kevin, do you have a question? Yes, oh, to your Kenyan fans, just to add one, one question, if, if I can be allowed. Your very close friend, a good friend, Eric Omondi, is pushing <coughs> different narratives, different agendas. Uh, he's trying to fight for the people of Kenya. I don't know if you heard about that, and maybe what you can comment on that. Yeah, Eric Omondi is doing his purpose. It's a course. It's like a stage. He started like a comedian. Now he's representing the people. If the people believe in him, why not? All right, talk to your fans, Kenyan fans. Yeah, my Kenyan fans, I still love you. I still love you, and my name is still Joseph Chameleon. Uh, uh. Thank you so much. Very it was a pleasure good. meeting you after 10 years. I'm so happy to meet uh, you. God bless you. Keep you for many, many years to see you. The capital. <laughs> that's, that's where it begins. Toka tulipo kutana, sijawai kufikiria tutachana. Lakini tulivo pendana, uweleweki unani umizo sana. Hey, upendo gani sauti. Yo, my name is Dr. Kamele, representing East Africa, Africa Worldwide, right on Saudi TV. You don't know, you should know.